Well, little one, you're the last one left. Let's check your temperature, shall we? Looks good. And you'll be happy to know that Shorin found homes for the other eggs, just like he promised. Don't worry, you'll be next. Turn up. Thunderstorm. Now. That's impressive. Turn Atmosphere charm. Time turn. Show your temper. Thunderstorm. That's impressive. Atmosphere charm. That's impressive. This is a two wizard job. And since Shoran is gone, I'd better find Colby. Um stay here. And be good. Please. <sighs> I'm doomed. Oh, what do you care what I get up to? Hmm. <laughs> You got plenty. Like that Ravenclaw girl you keep eyeing. You don't really think she fancies you, do you? Uh. Uh. Sorry, I hope that's not my fault. He's mad because I won't tell him what we're up to. <sighs> He's being a big baby, so I'll deal with him. Oh, okay. Good. Because we have a bigger baby to deal with. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh. For, yeah. And then some. Thankfully, he can't breathe fire yet, but he seems very good at burping sparks. Wicked. 
Is that a little dragon she's chewing on? It's a stuffed toy, actually. It seems to be the only thing he hasn't destroyed yet. Although it is looking rather scorched. Where'd he get it? I don't know. I think the room made it for him. Because he required it. Right, right. So, what do we do now? I suppose we should keep him here for now. And watch him burn the castle down from the inside? That is a concern. I wonder if this room can contain fire. Actually, we should talk to Shoran. He'll know what to do. Yeah, I'll take him. That's what I'll do. You don't want to keep it, do you? Why not? Be nice to have a pet. Colby, it's a dragon. I could keep it in my trunk. No one know. What's the worst that could happen? I get detention? <laughs> There's plenty of that. I can think of worse. Yes, and he's quite a handful. She. It's a female, and a feisty one at that. Suppose you're gonna take her now? No. She should stay here. Really? It's the safest place until I can find her a home, which is slightly more complicated when dealing with a live dragon. We could take care of her! Are you sure? Tending for a hatchling is more involved than turning over a few eggs. Yes, we can handle it. Just show us what to do. She's definitely hungry. Be sure to store the food where she can't find it, or you'll have a very plump hatchling on your hands. Right. How fast will she grow? Dragons grow very fast, especially when they're young. I'll need to be swift about finding her a home or she'll be difficult to move without others noticing. What's the rush? We could keep her longer. No, you can't. I'm sorry, but it has to be this way. There are enemies, seen and unseen, that wish to stop what we're doing. It's over, Shoren. We can't let that happen. We have to protect her. We will, won't we, Colby? Yeah, sure. Of course. Thank you, and good luck. Shall we divvy up responsibilities? Uh, whatever. You can have the first watch. I gotta check on my brother before he does something stupid. You got a name for? A name? No, I hadn't really thought about it. Well, go on then. Just make it good. A name, huh? Hmm. What shall I name you? Yes, I guess that'll do for the time being. Now, what shall we do first? Try up with my ropes? Good idea.
Hey, hello? Are you even paying attention? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. My mind was, um, elsewhere. Probably not a good idea when you're this close to a dragon. I suppose not. They do like to get into trouble, don't they? Especially when they're so young. Yeah, well, we're done here. Come on, let's go get dinner. I'm starving. Me too. Oh, I'm so hungry I could eat a hippogriff. I might be able to arrange that. But I wouldn't recommend it. Bit stringy for my taste. Um, can we help you? Hope so. I'm working with your ministry to investigate a recent theft. You work at the ministry? Didn't say that. Said I was working with them, not for them. Is there a difference? Yeah, kid, there is. Trust me. Big difference. Whatever. What do you want, mister? Carrion. Kellen Carrion. And like I said, I'm investigating an incident involving dragons. Someone stole three dragon eggs from a ministry-sanctioned exchange in London. Big news from Page of Profit. Must have missed it. Oh. I thought since you had a dragon on the premises, it might have been a topic of interest. Sorry, no. Didn't come up. Um, you do know this is Hogwarts, right? We're quite a long way from London. Yes, I did know that, young miss. In fact, I came all this way to talk to your professor. What do you want with Hagrid? Hmm, not him. Ah. Who then? Because we have a lot of professors. He means Shorin. Aye, that's the one. Uh, he around. He's not here. Wait, you don't think he stole the eggs, do you? I do. That's ridiculous. Mr. Long is a wonderful man. And a dragonologist. He'd never steal a dragon egg. Oh, you'd be surprised what wizards are capable of. Especially ones who think they're above the law. Like yourself. Whatever you think you know, you don't. Your friend Shoren is a liar. He's gonna betray you. Just like he did me. It's over, Shoren. Hatchling. Showrim isn't the only liar. A pug now. Look at you. Don't even fall. It's also. Golden Snake. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, it's you. Found the dragon, did you? I did. And I had a pleasant and informative conversation with a few of your students. Very informative. Well, uh, good, I suppose. Uh, do tell your dragonologist friend that I'd like to speak with him. At his convenience, of course. <laughs> I'll be in touch. I don't trust him. Oh? Well, he is a strange fella. But then I've known stranger. Even some that work for the Ministry. 
<laughs> Come on, dinner's waiting. I have to warn Shoren. Kellen, I never thought they'd send him. But he's a poacher, isn't he? Yes, and if he is here, the others won't be far behind. They'll use the forest for cover. It's what I do. Then why can't we just tell the Ministry who he is? It's not that easy. Kellen has powerful friends who protect him, employ him. He's very skilled at finding valuable things. He said... he said I shouldn't trust you. Kellen and I were very close once. I thought I could change him. I thought he wanted to change. He did not. It cost us both. Your trust is yours to give, but know that I trust you. You have proven yourself time and again. For that, I am grateful. I trust you, Shoren. Thank you. I know you've grown fond of her, but we must move the hatchling as soon as possible. No! We should keep her here. There's no place safer than Hogwarts. I'm sorry, it's too dangerous. For you and the dragon. What? No, you must do as I ask. I will call on you soon. Be ready and be careful. Oh, this isn't fair. We can keep her here. No one will find her. You know that's not true. They know she's here, Colby. They won't stop looking for her. And when she gets too big... Oh, no! No. Just... Ah. Uh -huh.